Z Fold 3, one week later. Let's talk about it. What's going on, everybody? Tech King Mike back again with another video. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I've had this phone for about a week, and I have a few thoughts that I want to share with you guys. Now, if you guys are not familiar, I have a video uh, on the channel that is about my five reasons why I wanted to purchase the Galaxy Z Fold 3. And after about a week of usage, I wanted to kind of break it down and let you guys know if those five reasons are still holding up. But I'm not going to necessarily break all of them down. If you really want to check that video out, it'll be linked somewhere up above, right up in this area in here. But in the meantime, let's talk about why I am enjoying my experience with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Reason number one why I'm enjoying the Z Fold 3 is because of that folding mechanism. That, that will never get old to me. Now, I'm eating my own words because initially when I had a chance to try a Z Fold 2, I thought that the folding mechanism would kind of just get a little cumbersome after a while. But see, here's the thing. Now, on my desk right now, I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, Galaxy S21 Ultra, and I also have a Pixel 5a 5G. And I carry, when, I, when I'm trying out a phone, I tend to try to carry that one device. So none of these devices have left the house with me this week except for my Z Fold 3. And I gotta be honest, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's really not. The thing is, when you get used to it, it's actually something that, you tend, that, that grows on you. But more so to the point, I have been making extreme use of this outer display. Now this outer display, might be a little bit too narrow for some. Initially, it was a little bit for me on the Z Fold 2 and not much has changed here. I still find it too narrow and I still think the wrong case will make it almost unusable for someone. But here's the thing, I've kind of got mine set up to where my apps are in a nice little grid and they're nice, nice and tucked away to where one-handed use with it is awesome. I actually find myself using this thing less than I expected to, which is gonna lead me to number two. The Z Fold 3, in a weird way, has made me more productive because of the fact that if I have extreme things like, you know, Twitter or Instagram, I know that's not really extreme, but <laughs> because I have things that I, if I really want to sit down and do, I'll open up the front screen. Nine times out of 10, if I have to open the front screen, I generally will put the phone away. I won't really mess with it like that. It, it's kind of, you want to do this during the video? I'll say hi to the camera. Say hi. Like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> Using the Z Fold 3, I kind of find myself opening the front screen for more of the more arduous and important tasks that I really want to get done on my phone. The majority of it else, I feel like I can get done on the outer screen from scrolling through social media to just quick message replies and even simple things like that, clocking in and out of work because the app I use for that, I do on my phone. Really simple stuff and I like that I can get it done on the outer screen. Do I wish that it was a little bit wider? Yes. but. I'm torn because if that happened, then it wouldn't necessarily be as, as cool of a, of a factor as it is right now. Like a wider screen would just make it like a normal phone, which like I said, it's a double-edged sword. So it's kind of, it's kind of a weird takeaway. And another reason why I am really enjoying the Z Fold 3 are the cameras. Now I know, I know three 12 megapixel cameras, the same as last year, nothing like the S21 Ultra, nothing like the Note 20 Ultra, or even the S21 Plus with a 64 megapixel telephoto. I know. I know what you're saying. There's no way. But listen, I like the cameras on this device. They're not that bad. Now, they're not the top tier Alpha Omega Supreme that you're used to getting from Samsung and their S21 and their Note line, but they are not bad and they will get someone through. The under display selfie camera or under display camera is meh. Now, there's mixed debate on that. Some people say it's not a selfie camera, it's meant for video calls. Look, a front-facing camera is a selfie camera, so you have to call it what it is. It is an under-display camera, but it is a selfie camera. Does it work for video calls? Yes, I've used Google Duo with it several times, and it has worked just fine. Is it a good quality camera? No. Four megapixels in 2021 on a phone that costs $1,800? Samsung. Stop. Stop. Now, will they do better next year? I hope so, we'll find out. But in the meantime, this is what we have to work with and it's not that bad. It truly does disappear the more that I use the phone, especially with the screen open and I'm not mad at that at, that at all. I would love to see it get better as time goes on, but for this generation, I think they did okay with it. 
The Z Fold 3 is a intriguing device. It's something that I was not expecting to enjoy as much as I am. And as you guys will see, I have a dbrand skin on mine right now. So this is the black camouflage uh, dbrand skin that I have on here. And I have actually been using this phone with no case. Believe it or not, I have been using it with no case. I go to work with it, it's literally inside of the front pocket of my backpack, or it's in the front pocket of my pants. I have not been using a case with it, and I am perfectly fine with that. Now, I do have a few cases that are on the way forward. We got some rinky cases, so that video will be available soon on the channel, but I'm enjoying my experience with this device. It kind of makes me look forward to the four and the five, mainly the five, because I really feel like if Samsung made these type of improvements, whether they be ever so minor or so huge in certain areas, from the one to the two to the three, I think maybe in another year or two, we'll truly have that folding phone that we're wanting from Samsung with the wider screen possibly, maybe built-in S Pen support, maybe a better camera, like you know the, the inner display will be a little bit more tougher. I'm really looking forward to seeing where this technology goes, and kudos to Samsung for pushing the envelope, man. They're doing a the damn thing with these. Z Flip, Z Fold, they're really doing it, man. But anyway, this is my Z Fold 3 one week impressions and i'm really enjoying this device are you enjoying yours if you picked one up drop a comment down below and let me know and if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more content i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will catch you guys on the next one stay safe stay blessed peace